Eugene Giraudet painted the flight into Egypt. It comes from Matthew chapter 2, verses 13, 14. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. And he stayed there until the death of Herod. Looking at Giraudet's painting of Mary and Joseph now in Egypt, the pyramids are in the background. They've arrived. They've escaped the horror of Herod's slaughter of the innocents. The Lord has led them into safety of a sort. They are the early representatives of the thousands and the millions of people who have had to flee their homes. They are among the first refugees, the first who have had to give up everything to try to get to safety, to protect their family. Joseph and Mary have saved the life of their son, our Saviour. The donkey shows us that they're worn out and tired. The donkey is worn out and tired. The donkey's the one who carries the load. And even Joseph seems to be weary is there to protect his wife and her son. It's a new dawn. The sun is rising. But what is going to face them? What is it going to be like to be a refugee? To be a stranger in a strange land? The scriptures tell us very little. Just that when Herod dies, the angel comes again and tells them it's safe to go home. For many of the refugees today, that might not be possible. But Mary and Jesus understand what it is to be a refugee. They understand totally what it means to flee in order to save life. We tend to leave Joseph out of the picture. But of course, Joseph is also a saint. He's also somebody who we can turn to. And he understands also as the one trying to protect his family. So the dawn is rising as they enter into Egypt. And because of that bright sun in the background, they're safe. But we also need to be with and to sympathise, empathise and help those many millions of people today where the future is not bright, where there is no sunshine in their life. So not only do we spend time with this painting, but we need to spend time 
in dialogue with Mary and Jesus. We can tell them about our concerns. They understand.